Hey everyone, my name is Costa, and today I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of grids in Framer. Also, I'm gonna show you how to add these cross icons as well. So I'm in Framer right now, and as you can see, I have different sections, and each section contains a container. I will select first the hero section, go to border, click on this icon right here, and remove the top border, the right, and the left one as well and leave it only for the bottom now i will go to padding and add a right and left padding of 32 pixels select a container click on border again and remove the top and the bottom border now i will select the social proof section add the 32 pixels for the right and for the bottom, then select a container inside, click on border, remove the top and the bottom border. I will select the third section which is the feature, go to padding, add 32 pixels for the right and 32 for the left, go to border, remove the right and the left border, select a container, Click on border again and remove the top and the bottom border. So I hope that this makes sense. I added a border for the right and for the left to the containers and a border for the top and for the bottom to the sections. So next we are going to add the cross icons. I will create a frame 20 pixels big. Remove the fill, add a border, change the color to white and increase the size to 6. Press Ctrl X. I will select the container of the social proof section and paste it inside. Now change the position from relative to absolute, align it to the top left and let's put it in the corner like this. Select the social proof section and make sure the overflow is visible. Now select this frame and call it cross icon. Make sure you select this dot in the center. Now I will duplicate it and move it to the right. Select both of them and duplicate them one more time and move them to the bottom. Let's preview. And voila guys, that is how you add a responsive grid in Framer and these uh, cross icons as well. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.